today we're going to do something pretty wicked. Uh, we are going to connect three EMW 12 kilowatt chargers to charge a uh, 330 volt battery in one of our prototypes. Uh, we'll see, we'll demonstrate how the chargers operate in parallel when connected in parallel to um, a sturdy 240 volt source. Stay tuned while we power it up. Okay, and this one goes, this one goes, and this one goes. Okay, let's see. have the output diodes, so they're all um, designed to be plugged in directly into the battery, which actually makes it um, even more remarkable how they regulate um, individual currents, because there is no way to really prevent from a current from one charger to go into another, but um, they all regulate pretty well. If you look at the uh, readings on the displays, um, they're all at about 30, 32 amps out. Okay, the heat sinks are about 30, 30 to 32 Cs. Uh, across all the chargers we have about uh, 6 amp hours already into the battery, just in the last uh, what is it, 5 minutes, 5 minutes, yes, 5 minutes. 6.5 amp hours into the batteries, 150 amps. Let's uh, check into the cables again for temperature. Looking good. Still looking good. Still looking good. The output is about 100 amps. This is gauge 1. Should be okay. This is gauge 2, so this will hit up before that. Uh, it's about 30C right now, these cables. Okay, this uh, whole thing is loaded on a 125 amp circuit, which means that it will probably break at some point. Um, probably heats up quite a bit on the uh, on the breaker panel. Let's check the temperature there. Okay, so we have 150 peak, peaking to 155, I've seen 155 amps. So there's a 240 supply, so this is already about 36, uh, 37 kilowatts going in. Uh, we are now 14 minutes in, and we are at combined 20 amp hours into the battery. The battery started about 47% um, um, I believe. Um, and now it's probably around 70%. So we'll uh, shut it down pretty soon because uh, I don't want to uh, do one C charge beyond uh, 80% state of charge. 
fact, some of the DMS units that we have on the uh, pack are already lighting up uh, between red and green, the mini DMS units. So soon we're gonna, we're gonna pause the chargers, or at least one of them. And you see that they're also uh, handle pretty well the uh, sequential shutoff. So the regulation is uh, pretty adequate there too. Okay, let's uh, check the state of charge. Batteries, by the way, did not uh, heat up in any uh, appreciable manner, so um, it's going well so far. And I see uh, up to 156 amps on the input. 158, 160. Now, the uh, common problem um, when you uh, run these things so fast uh, is that there is a voltage drop on the cable that runs from the chargers to the uh, to the car, and voltage drop on that cable um, affects the uh, shutoff points. That's why we had to reprogram the chargers to uh, a higher than actual number of uh, cells because otherwise they would just uh, shut off too early. Because even gauge one cable like this has um, a few volts drop on it at uh, 100 amps. That's going through right now. Um, ideally, when you operate uh, such a high current, you would connect the uh, sensing wire directly into the battery. But um, we just hack this together to show you a cool uh, 37 kilowatt charging, so uh, we didn't have time for that. The chargers are doing fine, 34C, 38C, and 36C on the um, inductors. Uh, the ambient is about, I don't know, maybe 18 right now. So. Uh, they're about 16 to 20 Cs over ambient. Nothing to worry about. The chargers start uh, cutting off at 55 C in sync temperature. So plenty of margin to go up. So you could run this test in a 40 C uh, temperature and you'll probably be fine. This is actually quite interesting experience. Um, by looking at the uh, EMW EV dash that we have mounted in the car, you can uh, see how the uh, state of charge um, gauge um, arrow is moving in real time. So we're now at 75 um, amp hours. Let's wait just a little bit and uh, we'll start shutting it down. Okay, we're now at 82%, uh, so let's shut down the hottest charger, which is this one, and press the red button, once it hold, and it pauses. So it completely disappeared from the circuit, and I could see only one amp extra on this and this charger as they were trying to uh, pump out uh, the current. So we now have just uh, two chargers going in. Uh, we've shut down the middle charger uh, as we were approaching 85% uh, state of charge. So we don't want to um, over push the current into the batteries uh, when it's close to the end of uh, charging sequence. So now we have two chargers pulling about 94, 95 amps uh, on peak from the AC on 240 volts and pumping out maybe 60, 65 amps into the battery. Um, the shutoff was uneventful and now we'll just uh, go until 90 uh, 
20% and then I shut off another, uh, one more charger so that one charger delivers the rest of the, uh, uh, of the juice to the batteries. Um, nothing super interesting now, it's just uh, business as usual, about 25 kilowatts going into the battery. Um, so what you've seen is a demonstration of uh, 1C charge into a 330-340 uh, volt battery. Uh, by the EMW chargers, 37 kilowatts peak power uh, going in and 35, 36 going out. Um, we charged only for about 15, 16 minutes and we got the battery from 47% to uh, about 82, 83%. Thanks for watching.